The sample poster template illustrates the MRAD format. In this particular example, we have the following sections. Study objective, introduction, methods, results, discussion, references, and acknowledgments. The study objective section here at the top is optional, depending upon the conventions in your field, as well as your purposes and the context of display for your poster. You may or may not want to include a section at the beginning that highlights or forecasts or give an overview of your project as a whole. The information in each of these text boxes is the same information that is included in the organizing your poster section in the body of the article. So it includes instructions about what types of content you'll want to include in each of these sections. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the design features. The poster title, of course, should be the largest text on your poster. Put this at the top and go ahead and center it. Author names and affiliations will go next. And then, of course, the body of your poster will comprise the rest of your poster. Include your school or organization name and logo either on the left-hand side on the title bar or on the right-hand side, depending upon what appears to be conventional in your field. In terms of the typography, this poster uses the same typeface for all of the text, which is Calibri. Calibri is a sans serif. You can use the same typeface for all of your text, but you'll want to be sure that you create good contrast. That is, you'll want to be sure that the title stands out and that the author names and author affiliations and that the headers stand out from the body copy. So you can achieve good contrast through bolding and also by making your headers and your title larger. In this particular example, the poster title size is 112 points. The author names and author affiliations are 76. The headers are also 76. Make your author names and author affiliations the same size as your headers. The body copy is 48 and the captions are 36. So this will give you an idea of what this looks like. The sample poster template uses a red green color scheme. Depending upon the conventions in your field and your particular purposes, you might want to use the color scheme of your school to brand your poster or the color scheme of your organization. You can also choose a color scheme that reflects your poster's content or the overall theme of your poster. In this particular example, notice this image right here of the sunflowers, the image of the apples, the tree, and then this bar chart which compares trees, shrubs, flowers, and grass. So here green was chosen to communicate this nature theme. The red is serving as an accent to the green. Use cool colors as your dominant color and then use a warmer color as an accent color. In this case, of course, the green is the cool color and the red is serving as an accent to the green. The text boxes have been filled with a lighter shade of the red to complement this red, but also to ensure that readers can read the text over the pattern background. The red is also repeated here in this bar chart as well as down here with the apples. The green is repeated here as well as over here. So you'll want to repeat your color scheme throughout your poster. Finally, this poster illustrates the organizational strategy commonly used with the MRAD format. It also demonstrates design decisions that you'll want to take into account as you design your poster.